In this video, I'm going to create a Open Roads Designer terrain based on graphical information given to me in the form of contour lines. These contour lines are just graphical elements. They have no intelligence, so we're going to make it intelligent and create a terrain. So for that, I will create a new file, still working in my project. Uh, selecting the proper seed file, either English or metric. It happens to be that this uh, project that I was given is in metric units. So I will create a new file in the directory that I have and I'm going to call it terrain. So it will create a brand new DGN file in which I'm going to attach as a reference file the bridge graphical information that was given even on a different CAD format. So accessing data, I will do home reference files and I'm going to attach that file and it's bridge graphics. It's going to be interactive. And you have to wait a little while until the file comes over as this is reading and sorting through all the elements so let's wait a little bit as the file came over so it's just a matter of selecting that I need the model because that's what the information is and just hit OK and if I do a fit view that is the model again that was given and I'm going to just uh, stay with the elements that are part of the contour files. So in CBL curve D and the minors are in CBL curve G. So let's turn on all the levels on the reference file. So I'm going to select only the used ones. And these are the two that I need. So let's do all off and activate curve D and curve G because these are the ones that have uh, the contour files. So now here we know that they have information. So they have elevation. So it's a good element. So now what we can do is just activate a selection set. So I'm going to make all these lines, contour lines, terrain actually. So I will go civil go into the terrain and say that create terrain from elements. Go to the screen, it says, yes, I'm adding 149 elements, left click. And these are with the arrow keys I can select. They are not drill boys, they're holes, they are contours. So with the arrow keys, I can just select it, left click to accept, right? Edge method, I can use different ones, remove slivers or tiny triangles, maximum triangle length, I can just play with that, but let's use the remove the slivers. So I don't want really small triangles. Left click, and then I have the terrain. So measuring this distance as well, I can say uh, the maximum triangle length and do the process. So for example here if I want to refine this I can go to measure distance for example and say that maybe this could be my maximum triangle length around well it's a hundred meters it's maybe too much so maybe 20 meters could be good. So yeah let's undo this process so I can do Control Z right and repeat the process of generating the contours but now with a good reference that maybe a 25 meter triangle it's okay so select just the elements here this element seems that is not part of the contour file so i just selected these ones go back to civil terrain model from elements and the selection will remain left click contours left click and then on the maximum triangle length I will accept it and say that the maximum triangle length maybe is 25 units 25 meters in this case and you see the triangulation is way much better so accept that and 
we're good. So now we have terrain. Uh, to better visualize that, I can go to the reference files and deactivate that one that I don't need. So I can uh, detach it, right? Uh, that's fine. And now these elements here that I have, I can go and just uh, left click and go to properties and say, for example, that I want to see the contours, the minors, I don't want to see the triangles, and that is maybe a good representation of the ground that I have right now. Right? So this is becoming now my terrain for the for the project. Thank you.